South Africa, a place of rich culture and stunning scenery. You can go on a safari to see the beautiful wildlife up close, or you can visit numerous historical sites to learn the incredible stories of the past. We love exploring everything there is to offer. We're in the city of Durban, with its many restaurants, coffee shops, multicultural markets, and even the Moses Mabida Stadium. It's easily a town you won't forget. We're in search of a new culinary inspiration, so joining me is David, the chef de cuisine of Crystal Serenity's main galley. There's no better way to collaborate on a new recipe than to explore the place together. We'll meet with Chef Kayla Ann. She's the executive chef at Chef's Table, a restaurant in Durban. Being an expert, she knows the local area. She'll show us around from where to get spices and fresh produce. And we'll need to know if the guests like our new dish. So we'll invite a few world cruisers to sample it So we've got a really cool day planned for you. So we're at the Verla Market now. We're going to pick up some cool fresh produce that they grow locally here. And then we're going to head to the spice markets in Durban and there's like some amazing spices that they do there. They roast themselves and they grind it and everything. Um, and then we're going to go back to Chef's Table and cook everything that we've found along the way. It sounds like a great day ahead. Yeah. Let's start with the produce cool. then. So uh, this is turmeric which we're going to use in our dish today. Not every day you get to see this. Fresh turmeric, no, no, and it looks almost, for, for those of you at home, it looks like ginger yeah, almost. Yeah, it looks very similar to ginger, it's just very mm. yellow. So uh, these are curry leaves which we also use quite a lot of. Um, I've got them on my menu at the moment. So you could use them for crunch in a salad or you could put them in a salsa or something like that. These tomatoes look good. Wow, look at the colour on them. Anything. Look at the size of them, they're so plump. With the coconut, mm. this is popular yes. in Durban? Yes, it is. Yeah. They love it in local cuisine? Uh, yep. Yeah. Durban lives on mangoes, basically, and they use them in every form. So from babies, green, and then ripe, and then overripe. And they're like either preserved, or they're cooked, or they're pickled, or they're eaten fresh, like, yeah, mango. And they serve That's them with curry, they serve them with everything. It smells so good. Yeah, it's very, very fruity mm. and sweet, yeah. Mm. Well, these ones are nice and ripe and yeah. soft, so maybe we can make a sauce or something with this for the dish. I think it's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Excellent, let's get some of them. Yeah, so we have a huge Indian influence here. Um, pretty much Durban is known for its bunny chows and its curries and its biryanis. Yeah. Uh, and there's spice shops everywhere. Yeah. And this is where we're going now. Yeah, so this is Spice Emporium. I buy all my spices here. Yeah. Um, and it's really cool. You can go and like choose your spices, dish them up yourself, weigh them. It's very cool. I've never seen a display like this. I've never seen that before. No, yeah. never. And the way it's open, I normally see it pre-packaged on a little jar or something yeah. like this, yeah. and now it's open and the smell is phenomenal. Yeah, and it you can is. smell like the difference between all of them, and you can see like the colour difference, so you sort of know what you're looking for. This is wet masala? Yeah, so it's a wet leaf masala, so like your, uh, your curry leaf and your bay leaf and stuff are not completely dry in there, so there's still like lots of oil in it. It's got an amazing flavour. Yeah. It must go for a tremendous amount for it to be on display yeah. here like this. Yeah, it does. Well, let's get some of that wet masala. Yeah. So oh. I got some potato smooses. Wow, well done. They Wonderful. are amazing. This has quite a bit of spice to it. A little bit. Like a little bit. Not major. <laughs> I'm worried about today. <laughs> it's like Bohemian Rhapsody. It like starts <laughs> off and then a boom, boom, boom. Our last stop is the chef's table, Kayla Ann's restaurant. Here, we'll get an exclusive look at some of her dishes and maybe we'll be able to use her style of cooking for inspiration for our own dish.
Okay, so I'll play on curried prawns, Durban curried prawns. Um, so this was the things we bought from the market this morning. So we made basically a tomato curry puree. So it was onion, garlic, ginger, um, the wet leaf masala that we bought, the cumin, a um, little bit of the fresh tomato that was like really, really sweet. So we just cooked that down really slowly and we let it all just infuse. Um, and then we finished it with coconut milk and we just blended it. And then those are your local pink prawns. Uh, we put them on the fire for a couple of minutes, finished them off in some butter. So what's, what's this dressing around the outside? Okay, so we made a salsa out of the turmeric and then we just made a dressing out of it. We put some toasted coconut and some cucumber into it. And it's just uh, like a little bit of acidity, a little bit of crunchiness, and it just goes really well with the curry. So it's all the things you'd eat with like prawn curry, if that makes sense. We just put it together. It looks good. I can't resist anymore. Do you know what I like? Is I like that it's not too spicy. <laughs> you know, not not. I don't mean from a chili perspective. You've cooked the spice out. I have some crunchy, a smooth, a creamy, a nice char from the from the shrimp. Okay, and for me, it's just beautiful. Thanks. I mean, I could eat two or three portions of this, <laughs> and I'd be very happy. What's your inspiration to food? Um, look, I grew up in a home where everyone got together at the dinner table every night, no matter what, and a lot of the day was based around what dinner was going to be. Um, I learned to cook with my gran, and my mom bakes like incredibly. So there's definitely there was it was always there. I was never going to do anything except be a chef, um, which was what I always wanted to do. Thank you for allowing us to spend the day with you this year in Durban. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and well done for you and your career. You're only young, and you've got such a wonderful restaurant you're only 26 Thank years you. young i think it's time for us to head back to the crystal serenity get together with our team members and design a dish for tonight's menu Excellent. thanks kayla pleasure it was really nice to show you Durban today yeah. after a full day of exploring it's time for dave and i to go back to the crystal serenity and start developing our new recipe ah, john pleasure to see you again so I made what looks like a nice onion pepper kind yeah. of chutney sauce to go. Where we're gonna cook the, the, the shrimp inside. Almost looks like you've got a ragu in there, doesn't it? Yeah, it's nice, nice and chunky. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna let you try a little bit of this vinaigrette. This is a mango and kaffir lime leaf. The curry leaves were a little bit too bitter for this. But you should taste it because it actually matches very well together. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think about it, but it does. Can you imagine that with the coconut yeah. cake that you just made? That's phenomenal. I just love surprising guests. So this is really exciting to be able to do this today. Hello! Come on, what a surprise! Are you up for being a taste Absolutely. tester? Absolutely, come on in. Thank you. This is a great dish. Right, I'm excited to share this. We spent the day in Durban. I know you love spices and I know you love curry. So you're the first folks have thought about. From the inspiration we gathered, we created this dish, this spiced prawns with a coconut rice cake and a mango vinaigrette. We added the rice to a pot with some finely chopped shallots, white wine, kaffir lime leaves. We cook this for about five minutes until tender. We placed this into a mold and refrigerated it until it was set. For the curry sauce, we used some onions and some peppers and we sauteed those off. For sweetness, we added some finely diced apples and finely diced tomatoes. For the bold spice, we added some garam masala, which is a blend of Indian spices. Some coconut milk was added for creaminess and white wine to add a little bit of sweetness to the sauce. We reduced this for about 10 minutes. Then we added the shrimp and let them poach in this curry sauce for about five minutes. Whilst they were poaching, we made this delicious mango vinaigrette by adding some diced mango, ginger, kaffir lime leaves, and rice wine vinegar to the blender. 
We blended this on high for two to three minutes. Once it was emulsified, it was time to assemble this plate. We rolled the rice cakes in some ground cashew and panko breadcrumbs and sauteed them off until they were golden brown. We added a few spoonfuls of the curry sauce to the centre of the plate, topped that with some rice cakes and then finally those Durban prawns and the mango vinaigrette. There you have it. Durban prawns with coconut rice cakes and mango kaffir lime leaf vinaigrette. I hope you enjoy this. If you say it's thumbs up, it's going to be on water side tonight. Shall we? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. mm. It looks as beautiful as it smells. Mm. Oh, wow. We love mangoes. This is one of those dishes that you can't stop eating because you want that taste again and again and again. It's fantastic, John. I, I like Susan, like it. The, the mangoes are fantastic. But I think having that citrus in there really makes it explode. Does it? Amazing. It is, mm, isn't it? Mm, mm. It's almost like mm. James Brown. It's got that <laughs> wow. Would you say this is this could be a winner tonight in Waterside? Absolutely. I'll let you finish it in peace. I'm gonna head down to the kitchen and tell David the great news. Thanks everyone. Okay, Thank John. you very Cheerio. much, John. Mm. See you later. Excellent. David. Yes, mate. I have to say, mate, we created the winner. Thank oh, you yeah. so much for everything today. I think we've got 44 more orders <laughs> to get ready. From myself, David, and all the culinary team and everyone on the ship. Until next time, I'm John Ashton. Cheerio for now. <laughs>